this is my ultimate destination. I think the mountains are that way. Uh, snakes don't like pies because snakes are just prudes when it comes to pastry. Uh, honey, you know, I think snakes are diabetic and then my wand, which does nothing. So I'm guessing there's a more obvious solution forthcoming. Okay. Um, I'm really just grasping at straws at this point, folks. I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing. Uh, there's nothing left in the bakehouse because I already got the pie for uh, unknown reasons. Who would want the pie? Oh, that's right. I was going to give the pie to the gnomes. Let's see. Did I check out this hay pile yet? I think I did. Next to the swarthy hog. Yeah, I guess I did. Graham watches with surprise huh? as a contingent of ants marches into the haystack what? and begins to swarm through it. What the... If you could see the look on my face right now, it's of utter surprise and disgust, I assure you. I can't skip it. We have to listen to the whole fucking song. We have to listen to the ant song. I'm glad to see there was a way that we could be of help to you. Look here. It's, we found the golden needle in the haystack. It just... Oh. <laughs> I'd like to send it to you. Alright, it's, it's a fantasy game. It's a fa I. Why, thank you, my youth. Anthony. For I'm my honored. youth. For my youth. What did I just pick up? I cannot believe I had. I was just subjected to ants singing a song while swarming through a haystack to find. What is this? This is a large golden needle. A golden needle. And its use is what? Well, at least now I've replaced the pie as my most valuable inventory item. Um, all right, wait, brainstorming. If I go into this door here, like I'm pointing at the screen, like you can fucking see. Uh, if I go in the door here and then I get banged over the head by the idiots, do you think maybe I could use this needle to pick the lock? then see if my cunning plan works. That won't help Graham unlock it the door. It does nothing. So we still do not know what the golden needle is for. Uh, we know a tailor in town. So maybe the tailor would like my golden needle. That sounded really sexual, and I apologize. Sir, that's a fantastic needle you have there. <laughs> All right, and this was the tailor shop, I think. So as soon as Graham pokes his head around the corner, there he is. On Tribu. May I help you, sir? Don't you recognize me by now? All right, so let's see if he wants my needle. Whoops. Yes. My golden needle. Oh, it's Wherever his anyway. Where did you find it? All right. It was in a haystack by the country. Doing good inn. deeds. All by right. Man? Oh, yes. I remember visiting there not long ago. Oh, vulgar man, that innkeeper. He has no scruples at all. No sense of fashion. Well, I'm glad to see you've got your golden needle back. I wonder, could you possibly see fit to give me that wonderful cloak in exchange for it? Holding my golden needle hostage, well, you why not? brute! It's yours for the price of a golden needle. Sweet. Thank you, kind sir. I'm sure it will help me on my travel. All I'm right. sure it will. Good luck. Is it mystical or mat? Or au revoir. Okay. Now I have no need to be in here anymore. So I do not have to talk to the gay tailor at all. Okay. So I now have. Uh, a cloak of sorts. This fine cloak is thick and warm. Thick and warm. Alright, um, 
So let's go see if my plan with the pies and the gnomes comes to any kind of fruition. Yes, okay. Um, you said the price of this marionette's gonna be pretty steep, so I doubt a pie is going to be in my price range, but you never know. I don't take charity, young man. I got everything I need. Not even a delicious pie. The young gnome is too bashful to respond. Okay. All right, so pies don't help. Um, honeycomb. I don't know what the honeycomb would be used for. He's probably going to refuse my charity once again. Yeah. Okay. Can I go ransack his house? I don't like strangers trespassing in my house. Okay. Hmm. All right. I, uh, all right. I have no real choice because none of this stuff is going to help me open up that temple door in the desert. Uh. So the only place I really have really explored was the uh, the forest where that fucking witch turned me into a frog. So let's go up there and check it out. Maybe if I take a different route, maybe if I don't go left, maybe I'll go right instead. Alright, and I'm going to save for, to bring me back from my eventual and inevitable, uh, frogification. Ooh, Come on, Cedric. There might go. Yeah, we know. We've heard all this before. Uh, why did I just get a little ding for entering here? Like, it's the first time I've been here. Okay, maybe I'm just crazy. I don't know. Uh, no, 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 don't. I'm a frog. Alright, so I can't go that way either. That old witch caught. Bog. Alright, um. Come on. Alright, so let's. Can we go this way? No, wait, no, wait, no, no, no. It's. It's just gonna turn me into a frog again. I don't know why I'm torturing myself. Witch. Bolt frog. It's a very simple three-step process, and I that wish I witch. could avoid it. Uh, Alright, so apparently the froggy witchy type person is not helpful. Maybe I know it's a it's a long shot, but I'm gonna see if Crispin can help me out of this situation. The door to Crispin's house is now locked. Fuck. Graham, put the spoon down! Oh, Gomer Pyle, the Arab. Never trust a bad guy, Graham. I didn't trust him at all! He came right across the desert and slit my fucking throat!